What's up guys, welcome to Voldora Kuhn. From our previous episodes, we have seen Ramuru meeting Adalman and the executive's discussion. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, I will put the links in the description below. You can watch in these videos what happened during the Walpurgis battle and the upcoming events. Just a quick warning, these videos contain spoilers from the light novel. Also, don't forget to join our Discord community. I welcome you to Voldora Kuhn subordinates, the link is in the description below. See you there. So now in this video we will review what happened next, where the reinforcements will be assigned, and an unexpected news will arrive. But before we will proceed, please like, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Now without further ado, let's proceed with the video. He's now more suited for the commander-in-chief job than Ramuru. Benamaru begins selecting the forces to be sent out with a suitably commanding voice. The reinforcements would consist of Captain Gobta commanding 100 soldiers of the Goblin Riders. 4,000 troops from Benamaru's green numbers along with 100 members of Team Kurinai to lead them. The remaining 200 members of the Kurinai would be tasked with defending town. Lastly, Gabiru will lead the 100 soldiers of Hiryu. That was a force of 4,300 in total. Benamaru concludes, that is all. The defensive reserves of this town would decrease, but since there are the Beastman Warriors and Voldora-sama, so I don't anticipate that being a problem. Any feedback? Also Benamaru added, Hakuru will be the supreme commander of this force. But rest assured, if anything happens, I will use spatial transportation to back you up at once. Just keep in mind that there's a good chance I will be fighting Hinata Sakaguchi myself. By that time, our communication may be cut, so everyone should listen to Hakuru's directions and do not overdo things on your own. Hakuru assured his service. Ramuru summoned out Ranga who is sleeping in his shadow. Ranga asked, my master, am I to be sent to battle? And Ramuru replied, indeed. I need to get you running around now and then, you know? Go with Gobtu and protect him. And Ranga delightfully replies, yes master. A little wake-up exercise would be very kind to me. Ramuru got afraid and said, Ranga, don't overdo things and try not to kill your opponents all right, where Ranga assured, no problem. Sean Dono has taught me how to restrain myself. Ramuru got even more concerned now. Ramuru can only pray for the safety of their opponents. As such, Ramuru approved Benamaru's plan and the troops to be dispatched have been decided. Now, they have to discuss the reinforcements Pharma's new King Edward was receiving. Ramuru asked, then Diablo, how do you plan to deal with your attack plan? Diablo explained that he only expected for the new king's force to be around 10,000 soldiers and 30,000 is a truly surprising number. First, he instructed Edmilus to send a letter and find out the reason the new king is gathering soldiers. Since Diablo assumed that the new king plans to push the responsibility of the compensations onto Edmilus and is gathering troops as a precaution. This way, the new king Edmilus would say that any agreement Edmilus signed is not his responsibility. He is going to execute Edmilus and claim the treaty to be null and invalid. Then, Ramuru's party will be provoked to send out their troops, and then the Western nations would join together to resist them. In order to prevent such things from happening, Yaum's party has to go and rescue Edmilus, who has been trapped in this difficult position. As of the moment, Edmilus is under Yaum's protection and they are hiding in Ned Lur's territory. Yaum is using Ned Lur's territory as his base and has gathered a force of around 5,000 men. In addition, Ramuru will be sending 4,300 men all at once with teleportation magic. That's not a huge difference, but the sudden appearance of this huge army would also strike confusion into the enemies and intended to crush the enemies using psychological warfare. Now that the new king had started assembling reinforcements, Diablo's tactic is no longer viable. Now the situation has turned into 40,000 versus 10,000. Diablo concluded, that's why the new King Edward is waiting for reinforcements, so he can use it to attack Edmilus's territory. Their original plan was to defeat the new King Edward and for Hero Yaum to be crowned. So Wei added, currently, Edward has access to a force of 20,000, and in three weeks' time, 
the full force of 40,000 will be assembled. The lack of defense in Ned Lur's territory wouldn't stand a chance. The situation would only get worse if they continued to wait. If Ramuru would send out their troops, it will become a real bloodbath war. Farmas has already lost 20,000 troops, and losing more would give them a fatal blow. Ramuru thinks thoroughly what should they do and he said, this is just the worst. Perhaps we should just give up this time. If I just forgive the rest of the compensation, then there would be no more war, right? They won't be able to continue the fight if they lose their justification. And Xian replied, no way. If we do that, they will look down on Ramuru-sama. And Ramuru justifies, I wouldn't want that, but we have already profited from this whole ordeal. Shouldn't we aim to resolve the issue with Hinata first before refreshing our plans? And Diablo responds, Kufufufufu. Abandoning this plan would be unthinkable. Ramuru-sama, didn't you tell me to handle it? And Ramuru said, yes. But I don't want people to keep dying on my watch. Where Diablo assured, that will not be a problem, Ramuru-sama. If that is what my lord wishes, your servant shall obey accordingly. It will be a simple task for me. Ramuru is curious on what Diablo is about to do, and Diablo explained I'll find the culprit who wanted to pin all of these on me. Destroy the demon, they say? If they intend to exterminate me, I will gladly serve as their opponent. Some of the 30,000 men arriving soon are likely to be connected to the culprit. I will give them a gentle interrogation. Diablo says with a big smile. Ramuru again reminds him to not kill all the 30,000 army, because it seems like Diablo is planning so. Ramuru then asks Hakuru if he will be able to suppress the new king's army without killing a person and Hakuru replied, it should be doable. Although it would be much easier to kill them outright, but that would provide no training for us. And then Ramuru turned to Gabiru, Gabiru, we're going to need a great deal of potion. And Gabiru replied, understood. Leave it to me. Ramuru thinks he was being left in the dust and Xian starts to speak, Ramuru-sama, it seems that the plan to take over Pharma's kingdom is flawless. And Ramuru hesitantly agreed, uh, yeah. Good luck everyone. They all motivatedly replied to Ramuru, yes my lord. With that, they all cleared Ramuru's worries and another issue has been settled. Ramuru thinks that there are still many areas of suspicion, but either way, their discussions shifted over to the next issue. Who would handle Hinata and her party? Benamaru started, so regarding the five individuals approaching our nation. And Ramuru was about to lead the meeting, so Wei suddenly got up and reported something. Ramuru-sama, we have an emergency. The Holy Knight Order seems to be on the move. Everyone starts to panic and Ramuru asked, what did Hinata's party do? And so Wei explained, no. Nansu who was monitoring Ingratia Kingdom just reported that a hundred some soldiers just departed. Ramuru got shocked and said, what did you say? So Wei added, they are half a day behind Hinata and will likely catch up to them at this speed. They are headed in the same direction, so we can conclude that they are heading towards our nation. Hinata was moving along at a regular, unhurried pace. The four knights following after her seemed to have traveled at full speed with magic applied even. But as soon as they rendezvoused with Hinata, the two parties seemed to have argued over something, but they ended up moving together anyways. They are now a team of five bound for our city. As of now, they are making their way from the kingdom of Ingratia to the kingdom of Blumant, however, they are moving rather slowly, meaning that the hundred knights behind them will eventually catch up. However, instead of using the highway or another commonly used route, they were reportedly more likely to abandon their horses and take the old path into the forest instead. Ramuru concluded, sound like they are not planning on meeting up with Hinata. And so Wei replied, their motives are unclear. We predict that Hinata would not be arriving in at least two weeks' time, and the nights behind her are likely going to take about the same time. Just as they have overcome one problem, another problem arised. Or should we say, one problem after another. How annoying, truly. Overall, the situation have changed. The executives began to discuss again. And that's it for my video. Thank you for watching. See you on my next upload.